The earth wire and double insulation. Learn an objectives. Know what the earth wire is and what it does and how it ensures safety. Explain the dangers of providing a connection between the live wire and earth. Brackets, you'll get an electric shock. Know why you don't need an earth wire if a device is double insulated. The earth wire is a low resistance wire. It's used for safety with the fuse. It helps protect people from electric shocks and stops devices or appliances setting on fire. One end of the earth wire is screwed to the metal casing of an electric device and the other end is connected to a big metal spike that gets hammered into the ground at each person's house or factory or school, etc. This animation builds on my plugs video and fuses and circuit breakers video. There'll be links for those videos at the end of this video. I'm showing you here how the electric current flows through the fuse, then goes into the appliance through the brown live wire. The appliance is in good working order, so the current flows through the heating element and leaves the appliance through the blue neutral wire, which completes the circuit back to the mains supply. Because the appliance has a metal casing, it needs to have an earth wire connected to it, which is the green and yellow wire. But because the appliance is working properly, the earth wire is not actually being used. When the person touches the appliance, everything is safe and they don't get an electric shock. In this second animation, I'm showing you what happens if the live wire becomes loose inside the appliance and touches the metal casing, which is a common exam question. As you can see, the live wire became loose and is touching the metal case, creating a short circuit. The heating element, which has high resistance, is no longer part of the circuit. In other words, the circuits became shorter. Instead, the current flows down the earth wire, which has a low resistance. This means the circuit now has less resistance, which causes the current to increase, which blows the fuse. Let me show you the animation again. This time focus on what's happening to the fuse. The reason the fuse blows is because the current must now be bigger than the fuse rating. The fuse heats up until it eventually melts or blows, breaking the circuit and switching off the current. When the person goes to touch the appliance, because of the earth wire, the fuse has blown so the current is off and the appliance is safe to touch, which means there's no risk of getting an electric shock and the appliance won't overheat and start a fire. In this third animation, I'm showing you what will happen if there's no earth wire in an appliance with a metal case. If the live wire becomes loose and touches the metal casing, which is a conductor, because there's no earth wire present, the case will become live. If someone touches the casing now, they'll get an electric shock that could be fatal, and the wires could get so hot that they could start a fire. Again, these are the answers to common exam questions. In this fourth and final animation, I'm showing you what will happen if there's no earth wire in an appliance that has a plastic case. If the live wire becomes loose and touches the plastic casing, because plastic is an insulator, it doesn't become live and is safe to touch with no risk of getting an electric shock. There's no need for an earth wire because no metal parts are showing that could be touched by the user. We say the device is double insulated. Thank you very much. I hope that video was useful and the animations help you to understand your physics better. Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more, bang that bell all over the place, smash that like button while you're at it, and apart from that, work hard, be nice, and bye for now.